In quite a few of the videos I've done for demonstrating how things can be done in Power BI, how easy Power BI is to use, how powerful it is, uh, is lots of maps, of maps. I think they're really interesting and being able to overlay data on a map, get some values, attributes and put them on the map is great. One of the problems I found was that I was getting information that was either very compact around a, a city like Sydney or stuff that went across the state. So I bought in um, a filter that would allow me to filter by distance. So I can actually slide this up and down and it will bring in any entities, locations in my map that are within a certain distance of the city. And I can go all the way back down to quite close to the city and it'll move in. So how does that work? It's actually, um, it's not that complicated. It's DAX and it's a bit of trigonometry, but you don't even have to understand the trigonometry to uh, be able to use this. Uh, it's a column, it's not a measure. So don't get tricked by adding a measure because you look at it and go, well, it's quite complicated. It must be a measure. No, it's not. It's actually a calculated column. And if you try to make a measure out of it, you're going to end up in a whole world of pain. Um, so um, don't do that. It's a column. So let's have a look at the formula behind it. It's a whole lot of spherical trigonometry. All of the blue text are DAX functions. Uh, you don't need to know what they do. Uh, ACOS obviously is the inverse of cosine. Sine you'd recognize. Pi is that uh, 3.14 pi that nerds like to memorize. Um, a couple of other points. This latitude is the latitude of the location that is your reference point. So in my case, I'm measuring the distance from the Opera House in Sydney uh, out to any point as a radius. So that is the latitude of the Sydney Opera House. And this one negative 151 um, or 151 is the uh, longitude. Uh, the only other piece of information that you need to add in is this 6371. And train spotters in the audience will know that's the radius of the Earth in kilometers. So if you don't have that value or you have an incorrect value, this won't work properly, at least not for planet Earth. Uh, if you're planning on using Power BI on the moon, then that value would be 1737 kilometers. And if you're using Power BI on Mars, it's 3396 kilometers. But for Earth, for most of us at the moment, uh, that value is the one you're going to use 6371. Now, if you're working in miles, you just uh, use the miles equivalent. If you want to do it in centimeters, go nuts. It'll be whatever it is, how many more zeros you're going to pop on that one, and you will get the same thing. So that's all that you have to do. You put that in. And then if we go back to our table, we'll have a look, we actually get uh, distances. There it is. It's worked out the distance for, from the Opera House for every one of these postcodes based on this latitude and this longitude and compared that to the latitude and longitude of the Opera House. Once you've got that in, you stick your distance into the distance field and you can move this backwards and forwards and you've got a dynamic distance filter. And any, for example, I've got the number of the population that fit within that. This is based on the 2016 census data. And you can go right back down to just, say, for example, Sydney. Anyway, hope that helps.